Hi Mate Mac Elementary School, it's Farmer Monica coming to you from your school garden. And this morning I wanted to talk to you about water. Did you know that water is essential for plant growth? It is! Just like it's essential for our growth, we need water every day. And our plants do too. Do you know where our water comes from? I'll give you a moment to think about it. Where does our water come from? It comes from Lake Mead! That's right! Lake Mead is the water source for the city of Las Vegas and Henderson and North Las Vegas. And so today I just wanted to show you our irrigation system in the garden. So an irrigation system is these black tubes right here and they have tiny little holes and when it turns on these holes put drip water into our garden beds now this is a really great way to water your garden beds see this plant right here is getting some really great water and that plant right there and all of these onions so these dark spots you can see is where the water drips and as you can see all the plants that are getting water are doing super good. Now this is a great way to water your garden because it really makes sure um, that you don't lose a lot of water to evaporation. So when it gets super hot, um, the, water, the heat warms up the water and it causes to turn into a gas form and evaporate. That's called evaporation. So having a drip system like this allows the water to just drip into the garden bed straight into the soil and it reduces the amount of evaporation which is really great because that means that we're saving water and that's a good thing that's a really good thing so that's what our irrigation system looks like in all of our beds and as you can see i'll just bring you right over here and show you that it's the same in all of our beds see you cool look underneath the tomatoes wow <laughs> oh some little plants are popping up um oh those are the calendula so those are some flowers that are popping up underneath the shade of the tomatoes but you can see our irrigation goes through this bed just like it does in the other one now this irrigation all stems from this irrigation box right here there you go that's what it looks like so this irrigation box is connected to, and this irrigation system in here, this isn't part of it, and this isn't, but that's what it looks like. So these pipes are connected to our garden beds. And I'll show you, we can, I'll, I'll test out the irrigation. So it's really important to test out our irrigation. We see that it has full battery, which is really great. It's 7.25 in the morning. And if I push this and hold it down, it will test the irrigation system. It will turn it on. So I can go around. One of my jobs is to go around and check and make sure that water is dripping out of the irrigation tubes. Da -da -da! You can see some water dripping over there too. So, that's my little tip for today, how our um, garden is watered and our drip irrigation system. It's super important that uh, our plants receive water every day, so it's really important that I check it every day or that you check it every day when you're back in school. I wanted to give you an update on the zucchini flower I showed you last week. Check this out. Look at that giant zucchini! Isn't it beautiful? It's so nice. I'm gonna leave it here and I would like to see how big it grows. I think that would be a really fun experiment. Let's see how big it grows. And another thing that's cool is if these two get pollinated right here, they will also start developing into zucchini. Um, zucchini and is a really interesting plant because it has female flowers so this is the female flower this is the female flower right here and you can tell because it has what looks like a zucchini coming off of it so this is the flower that needs to be pollinated that will turn um, 
that will produce the fruit that will grow a zucchini. And this, you can see right here, is the male flower. So you see there is no zucchini like fruit attached to it. It's just a stem. So that's how we can tell that this is a male flower. So we need all of that pollen uh, to be taken by a pollinator to one of these flowers so that boom, 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 it can grow into a giant zucchini. So cool, right? Okay, see you next time.